If you're a hunter, this video is for you. We've got everything you need in the Nightcore P30 hunting kit. For night hunting, this all-inclusive kit is designed to get you up and running right away with one of the most compact and focused flashlights Nightcore makes. Let's take a closer look. First, the flashlight itself. The Nightcore P30 features a Cree XPL high V3 LED nestled inside a smooth, deep reflector. Together, the P30 emits up to 1,000 lumens of light on turbo, with a peak throw distance of 676 yards. This gives you a powerfully bright and focused beam ideal for night hunting. And with a short, 5.5 inch body, it won't be nearly as bulky as other long throwing flashlight options when mounted on a weapon. Hey guys, Robin Foxer here with a quick video on this Odipro KL52 hunting light. It's quite a decent bit of kit actually. Um, it comes with several things in the box. I'm going to talk about each of them individually, give you some practical hints and tips on how best to use it, uh, and also give my honest opinion on what it's like as a hunting tool. I hope you like the video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. So, as we open the box, we can see that everything is pretty neatly stored away here inside. We have the torch itself, battery and charger, um, a figure of eight as I call them, clamp um, for quick, easy access to mounting the gun lamp. You've also got a fixed uh, bracket and an allen key as well. You then have three additional lights. You've got a green filter or a green light. You've got a white LED pill and you also have an infrared LED pill, making this torch uh, an all-in-one go-to bit of kit. <clears throat> you also have a rat's tail switch for mounting on the side of the rifle. I'll put a uh, quick clip insert here as to how to use that on the side of the slot that aids for lamping. It also comes supplied with two batteries in a neat battery storage pouch. So it comes supplied with two 300 milliamp batteries. And there. And then the torch itself with a handy wrist strap as well, so that if you dropped it, the torch would hang. So underneath the battery cover, we've got a spare couple of seals here, which is quite handy. We also have the product warranty information card, along with a fairly detailed instruction manual, how to change the battery and also how to change uh, the IR pills over inside as well. The chart here gives you an indication of how long you could be likely to get out of uh, the batteries, but also how far, more importantly, how far the beams will actually travel um, as well. Now the torch itself is pretty well made, actually. You've got a convincing, decent button on, on the back here. The hand strap you can actually take off, personally. 
I prefer to do this when I'm out hunting as I don't like things are getting in the way but that comes off fairly easy. That can go back in the case. You can adjust the width of the beam and concentrate the beam down a little bit by twisting the torch here. That follows the kind of pattern of most uh, torches of this nature. Changing the battery is easily done by removing the rear cap. Replacing your 18650 battery uh, only takes one at a time, so it's quite good that they've given you a spare one. One thing I do like about this torch is changing the infrared, or changing sorry, the pill from red to white to infrared, because it's pretty easy um, on this torch. So I'll uh, quickly show you how that's done.